We are going to talk about exponents. A couple of vocabulary words you need to know. This right here is the exponent. This one right here is the base. And together, they form the power. So the exponent is this one here, the base is this one, and the power is all of it together. The base tells you what you are multiplying, and the exponent tells you how many times you are multiplying that by itself. So here we're going to take 2, and it's going to be 2 times 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 2. So 2 times itself 10 times. All right, let's evaluate these. This is 2 times itself 2 times, or 10 times. So it's 2 times 2 times 2. Ten times, right? Do I get, do I get ten of those? Yep, I've got ten of those. Okay, so two times two is four. Times two is eight. Times two is sixteen. Times two is thirty-two. Times two is sixty-four. Times two is a hundred and twenty-four. Times two is two hundred and forty-eight. Times two. Having a hard time keeping track of it in my mind. Let's see. 496 times 2 992 okay so this is 992 and this is 10 times 10 so that equals 100 so this one here even though it looks a lot smaller is actually much larger than this one here all right here we have got 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. So this one here is 1,000. All right, we're gonna need a little bit of space to do this one here. Actually, you know what, we're gonna pull out our calculator. All right, on some calculators, you would be able to put in three, and then have a power button and tell it which power. But on this calculator, we don't, so we're just going to have to put in three ten times. Um, I will show you in class how to do that on your calculator. So, okay, so we've got three times three times three times three times three times three times three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten to the third. Let me make sure I've got ten. Or three to the tenth. I've got 10 of them. It is 59,049. So while this number, it looks bigger because it says 10 to the third, this number is actually much larger. So make sure you're paying close attention when you are trying to decide which power is larger. Okay. Write the product using the exponents. What this is is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 is our base. And our exponent is how many times we multiply 2, so that is going to be 3. This one here, negative 7 is our base, and our exponent is how many times we multiply that. However, in this case, our negative is included in our exponent. And unless I write it like that, then my negative will not be squared. So make sure that you are being specific. This right here, you squeeze it. The, the exponent only affects what is directly in front of it. So this one here is going to be 49, and it's negative, but this one here is going to be positive 49 because it's negative 7 times negative 7. This is 7 times 7, and the answer is negative. Okay. All right, this one here, 2 thirds. Two-thirds is my base, and the number of times that it's multiplied, or my exponent, is five. When I do fractions, or when you do fractions, you also need to put them in parentheses, because this is very different than that. This one means you're squaring the entire fraction. 
This one means you're only squaring the numerator, so make sure you are very specific in your notation. Okay, this next one here. Negative one-sixth. Negative one-sixth is my base. I need to put it in parentheses because I am multiplying the negative and the one-sixth. And we are multiplying it three times, so my exponent is three. All right, my base here is 11, and my exponent is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then this one down here, we've got negative one-fourth, which is our base. We are multiplying the negative and the one-fourth, so it is in parentheses, and we multiply it four times, so our exponent is four. Okay, I want you to do these ones on your own. Be very careful with this one. Actually, you know what, let's do it together. We have got pi as our base, and it is squared because it's two times, and then we have got r as another base, and it is cubed because we've got three r's multiplying each other. These are not like terms, so I can't combine them. I have to leave them just like that. You do this one and this one. All right, we are back to our parentheses and being specific with our notation. This one here is negative two, times negative two, times negative two, times negative two. This one down here is, the exponent only affects what's directly in front of it. That negative is not directly in front of it because it's not included in parentheses. So this is two times two times two times two, and your entire answer is going to be negative. So negative two times negative two is four, times negative two is negative eight, times, Negative 2 is negative 16. No, positive 16. And this one here is negative 2 times negative 2, or ne 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, all positive. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And since the entire thing is negative, this one is negative 16. So you can kind of see the difference there in the notation. Okay, evaluate these expressions. You have to follow your orders of operation. So before I can multiply here or add there, I have to do my exponents. My exponents come first. So three to the fourth is three times three times three times three. Three times three is nine. Times three is 27. Times three is... 81. So this is 3 plus 2 times 81. Then I've got to do multiplication next. So this is 3 plus 16. Your answer to this is 19. Make sure you're following your orders of operation. Okay, I want you to do this one on your own. We will talk about it in class tomorrow. This one is your exit ticket. I want you to do these and we will talk about them in class tomorrow. This one, if you cannot say, see it, says four squared minus eight times two plus three cubed or three to the third. This one says negative two thirds cubed plus the absolute value of the quantity 5 squared minus 2 times 15. So try those at home and we will talk about them in class tomorrow.